November, but spooky season is supposed to be cooler. Yeah, I just posted today. Tomorrow we're going to see heat indices about 105, so it's definitely feeling like fall in South Texas. True. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to take what we can get in terms of that uh, cool down. It's still going to be pretty warm uh, going into the next week, but here's the answer to that trivia question. The hottest heat index ever recorded was actually this year earlier in June, 125 degrees. Today our heat index got up to 104, so quite a change from earlier this summer, and this is all thanks to lower humidity in the coastal bend thanks to a cold front, which I'll get to where that exactly is here in just a minute. Here's current heat indices across the coastal bend. We're still right around where we topped out this afternoon, but here's a look at where dew points have changed. So we definitely have felt the change in the not necessarily air temperature, but the dew point temperature. So this is kind of how we measure that humidity. It's still again pretty humid in the 70s, but up towards Beeville, they are in the 50s for that dew point. So it's definitely Definitely feeling nicer up there. Here's where that uh, cold front is. You can see some of the thunderstorm activity still associated with it. We've been relatively quiet today. Some of our southern counties did see a little bit of activity earlier today, but most of us have stayed dry and on the warmer side. So here's a look at future cast heading into tomorrow morning. We are going to go down into the lower 70s and it's not going to be all that humid, so it's going to feel absolutely wonderful outside in the morning. Then we are going to warm up up into about the lower 90s by lunchtime tomorrow and into the upper to middle 90s tomorrow afternoon. Again, we do have a low rain chance, though, like today, I do think most of us are going to stay on the drier side heading into Tuesday. Another nice morning in the lower 70s. So again, like I said, definitely inching towards fall, but it's still more so feeling like summer. We've got high temperatures continuing above normal in the mid to upper 90s with feels like temperatures slowly creeping up. But I don't think we're going to hit heave advisory criteria anytime this week. I do think we're going to stay below that 110 mark, generally between 105 uh, to 110 here in Corpus Christi. Temperatures, though, again, staying on the warm side. Here's a look at the moisture forecast. You can see we've got drier air coming around this high pressure setting up over to our west, and that's essentially drying out the atmosphere along with that front that pushed through. So our rain chances are going to be on the lower side heading into the middle of this week. Then uh, surface uh, uh, surface flow is going to come back on shore, and you can see it bringing in this humidity here, not necessarily in the upper atmosphere, but at the surface. So we may see some of our rain chances chances come back with the sea breeze. So here's a look at those rain chances. I've got that isolated chance for tomorrow. Again, most folks staying dry, then heading into Tuesday and Wednesday, even into Thursday. I think most uh, folks really aren't going to see much into the rest of this coming week. So here's a look at lows again overnight. Absolutely wonderful by the time you walk out the door in the morning temperatures in the lower 70s. We are going to see the winds turn back to the southeast through tomorrow. So that in and of itself is going to start to bring back a little more warmth and humidity, but it still is going to feel a little bit better than it has in the past couple of weeks with those feels like temperatures this week in the lower 100s. And then by the first day of fall come next Saturday, temperatures again, they're still in the 90s, but thankfully those feels like temperatures are maybe 10 degrees hotter at most. Brian. All right. Thank you very much, Kristen. And still to come here on 3 News.